All right. I see you guys seated. So let's start. Um, let's start on our backs completely, entirely on our backs. Oh. So just kind of, you could either rock, uh, bring your knees up, and you can rock side to side. Just getting that low back settled, taking a few breaths here. And then you could plant the feet, extend the legs. We're going to make like a five pointed star on our backs. So arms out, wide as like a T. Legs extended. You could wiggle your toes here, wiggle your fingers, your wrists. We want to make these circles here and then reverse it. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. All right, and then from here, what I want you to do is engage that core, press that belly button and the low back to the mat. We're going to lift here. So lifting our legs in this five-pointed star, lifting our arms. So the low back is pressing. Your shoulders are pressing to the mat. All right, release. Let it go. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. Bring it up. Press that low back to the mat. Engage that core. And release. We're going to hold it one more time, and then we're going to do some crunches here. So let's lift. One, two, three, four, five, and let's tuck everything in. So bring those knees, those elbows in, touch, and then five pointed star. Let's do that four more times. Five pointed star. Elbows and knees touch. Last one. And then hold here, hold it, press that low back to the mat. And then release, long body stretch. Shake that off. All right, let's talk, let's rock and roll here. Grab those knees, start rocking from front to back. And then I'm gonna meet you at the top of the mat on all fours. So you can do a couple of inhales and exhales, doing a couple of cat cows, drop that belly, inhale, looking up, and then exhale, tuck that to knee, and round the back. Two more, your own breath. It feels pretty good outside. Inhale, look up, last one, and then coming to stillness. Finding that neutral back. All right, from here, I want you to extend that right leg out. Let's, let's do a little bit of balancing here. Engage that core again. So draw the belly button to spine. Use that left hand to level off those hips. So if your right hip is up, Let's bring it down, flex that right foot, bring that left hand back to the mat, engage that core, bend the right knee. We're gonna do some little glute work here. So lift and then squeeze and then release. Let's lift it, squeeze, squeeze that right glute and then release. Three more. Two, squeeze, release. Last one, squeeze it right here. All right, keeping that right leg extended back to balance here. All right, and then coming into this side plank. 
modified side plank. So keeping that left, a right leg lifted, arm straight up to the ceiling. Keeping that right foot flex. And let's bring that right arm up and over our head like extended side angle. All right, let's bring it back. Right arm back up. And then extend it out over the head. And let's do crunches. So elbow to knee. Let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's come back down. Dropping right arm down, right knee. Inhale, right arm up, slide it through, thread the needle. You want another balance pose? Draw that right knee in. And then extend that left leg out. So drawing that right knee in, kind of like the center of our belly button to keep that balance. And you can extend that left leg out. Two more breaths here. Inhale, coming up. Let's do the other side. Let's shake that off, shake the shoulders, those hips. All right, extend, left leg out. Check those hips. Flex that left foot. Find that neutral spine. And then ride up. Hand back to the mat and then bend that left knee. And let's squeeze that left glute. So lift and then squeeze and hold. That's gonna be one. Bring that left knee down. Inhale, coming up and then squeeze, hold it right there. Three more. Release. And then squeeze that left glute. Last one. Hold and squeeze. All right, so right hand to the mat, side plank, modified side plank. Open up. Keeping that left leg up. Flex. Stack those shoulders, stack those hips. And then bring left arm up and over the head. And then bring that left arm up directly to the ceiling, the sky. And then exhale, bring it down. And let's do five crunches on the left elbow to knee. Five, four, three, two, and then one. And then hold a key set, extend it, hold, and then drop the left side down. Inhale, left arm up, slide it through, thread the needle. If you did the balance pose, so this time drops that left knee in, extend that right leg out. Inhale, coming up, back to all fours. Let's shake that off. And then from here, I want you to curl those toes. We're gonna sit on those heels. So inhale, let's come up. You're sitting on those heels. These toe um, streamers. All right, let's place our hands behind the mat, behind our hips and then lift those hips up. And drop those hips. And then let's walk it back up to down, uh, up dog. 
drop those hips, inhale, up dog. Let's do a down dog here. So curl those toes, lift those hips, down dog. We're gonna do that two more times. All right, bend the knees, let's hover, drop the knees, keep those curls, toes curled, slide those hands back, lift those hips, and then coming up to up dog, walk into the mat, up dog, and then down dog. Let's do that again. Drop those knees. Slide those hands back. Lift the hips up. And then let's walk it to the top of the mat. Up dog. And down dog. All right, let's hold our down dog for a few breaths. So if you need to walk your down dog or finding stillness, a few breaths here. All right, let's keep our down dog, lift that right arm up. That left hand stays down. And now that right hand, we're gonna grab the outside of that left calf, ankle, and then peek through. <clears throat> Three, two, one, release, down dog. Let's do the other side. Left, left hand back. Find that balance. And then with that left hand, grab the outside of the calf, ankle, and peek through under that right shoulder. Three, two, one. And let's release. Inhale to the top of the mat, top step jump, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up, all the way up. Hands feet at the top, and then exhale, hands to the side, Tadasana. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms up. Grab that left wrist, reach, reach. Find that space first, and then bend over to your right. And let's release. Let's switch grips, grabbing that right wrist. Pull yourself up, find that space, and then bend over to the left. Inhale, coming up, and then exhale, forward fall. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, step it back. Let's take one vinyasa. Or you can hold your plank. Slow exhale to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Bring that right knee to nose and hover. Keep it tucked in real tight here. So engage that core, draw that belly button to spine and puff out between the shoulders to find that space. Shoot it back, three-legged down dog. And let's do that again. Bring right knee to nose to chin. Step it in, warrior one. Spin that back heel down. Find that nice bend in that right knee. Inhale, come all the way up. Relax those shoulders. 
we're gonna give ourselves a little hug here. So we're gonna bind those arms. So I'm gonna bring my left arm to my right shoulder and then my right arm to my left shoulder. And let's humble this. So become, exhale, coming down. Just finding that nice hug. Try not to put all the way on that right leg. And let's release that hug. Left hand to the mat, open up, lunge, twist. All right, bring right hand down, bring that right foot, step it back, three leg it down, dog. And then step it back in, warrior two. Inhale, coming up. So relax those shoulders. Finding those shoulders above those hips. Feeling that openness in those hips, the chest. And a lot, nice lunge on that right leg. And then windmill your hands down to the mat, holding your plank for five breaths or take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's do that on the left. Inhale, left leg up. And let's bring it in, hover here. So left knee to chin to nose, find that space. Puff out between the shoulders, you can do it. Shoot it back out, relay it down dog. Let's do that again. Hold here, keep it nice and nice and tucked. All right, let's step it in. Low lunge, spin that back heel down. Let's hover on that left side. Use that core. Let's come all the way up. Warrior one. Find that breath. All right, this time your right arm inside and left arm. Grabbing that right shoulder and let's humble this. Give yourself a nice warm hug. Find that nice lunge in that left knee. Few breaths. Last one. Low lunge twist. So right arm to the mat and then open up twist. Few breaths. And then left hand to the mat. Step it back. Three legged dog. And let's step it in. Pull your two. Inhale, coming all the way up. Your gaze is down that left middle finger. Calming the breath here. And windmill your hands down. Take your vinyasa. Exhale, down dog. All right, let's take that a little bit faster. Inhale, right leg up. And then right knee, let's find that space, tuck it in, step it in, low lunge. Inhale, coming all the way up, warrior one. And let's open up to warrior two. Let's find a peaceful here. So lifting that right arm up, binding 
behind you, or you could slide that left hand down the thigh. And then hands down to the mat, take your knee up. Inhale, left leg up. Bring it in, find that nice tuck. Step it in, low lunge. Spin that right heel down, inhale, coming up. Warrior one, open up, warrior two, Vibhadrasana two. Let's find that peaceful warrior. And then hands down to the mat. Thank you, Urbinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Few breaths here. Let's look up to the top of the mat, hop, step, jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And while we are down here, let's bring our feet about hips width apart. So step it out about one foot placement. Pace fingers, grab your toes. Inhale, halfway lift. And this is Pada Gustasana. So exhale, forward fold. Let go of the head here. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Don't lock the knees here. And then use your biceps to pull yourself down. And let's release. Bring those hands to the waist. Find that belly button to spine. Let's inhale, coming all the way up. And then sip it in to Tadasana. All right, finding some stillness here. We rushed through Tadasana so much. So finding all four corners of your feet, the outer edges, the inner parts of your feet, but lifting that arch. So feeling that arch lift. So when you are thinking about lifting that arch, you start to think about your inner thighs, lifting those inner thighs, lifting that Uriana Bandha, that belly button to spine, relaxing the shoulders here. All right, if your eyes were closed, you can open them back up. We're gonna come into tree pose. So your version of tree. So I'm gonna start um, with uh, grounding with my right leg, lifting with the left. And tree could be your toe stand to your calf or your inner thigh. Your hands could be a prayer. I'm going to find my hands behind me, interlock those fingers, open up that chest, and then sliding those shoulder blades down and the shoulders down and away from the ears. And once you find the shoulders sliding back, the shoulders away from the ears, you could release, you could start to grow your branches. Let's release that left leg coming into chair pose. Bending both knees, squeezing everything in, zipping everything in. Belly button into spine. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left, left leg up. And let's do five kundalini. So bend that left leg. You could balance here. You're going to do those little curtsies. And then extend that left leg out. Let's do five. So that was one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Last one. Keeping that left leg up to standing splits. So release that head. Let it go. Keeping that left leg lifted. Remember that arch I was talking about. So look at down at that right foot, keeping that left arch lifted. I like to interlace my hands back behind me in standing splits. Squeeze. And then release, step it back to crescent lunge. Inhale, coming up. All right. A few more breaths here in your crescent lunge. Just feeling that opening up on that left hip. And then hands down to the mat. Step it back. We're going to hold here your plank for five breaths. So puff up between the shoulders. That's one. Press your toes down to the mat. That's two. Heels back. Three. Belly button just fine. Four. And then five. Exhale. Down dog. Let's look up to the top of the mat. We're going to do the other side. Hop, step, jump. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Let's come all the way up. Meet me in your Tadasana. Hands to the side. All right. Finding that balance on that left foot. Coming into tree pose. Your version of tree pose. Remember, if you want to, you could interlace the hands behind the low back. Squeeze. Draw the shoulder blades together and then down. And from here, you start to grow your branches. Remember, you could always keep hands to heart center. I'm outside, so it's kind of flat. If you're inside on the carpet, I know the uh, balance is going to be a little challenging. Last breath here, and then come in into chair pose. So release, Uttadasana, chair pose. We have a natural curvature here on our low back. So no cheerleader butt, but you still want a natural curvature here, but keep it kind of tucked in. Kind of scooping in a little bit. Three, two, one. Exhale, forward fold. Coming into this five kundalini. So lift that right leg up. Bend that right knee. Five kundalinis here. Hands to the mat or to heart center. Extend that right leg out. One kundalini. Two kundalini, three kundalini. Well, this side is, side is challenging. Four kundalini, last one, five kundalini. Release those hands, standing splits, keeping that right leg lifted. If you were trying to work on some balance poses, 
interlacing the hands back behind you. And let's step it back. Crescent lunge. Anjanayasana. Uh, can you imagine this is your resting pose after all of that? <laughs> oh, all right. Last step here. Hands down to the mat. Let's take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, we're going to come into camel, but let's do a little hip opening, a little bit more. Inhale, right leg up. And then step it outside the right hand for lizard or dragon's pose, whichever way you call it. Keeping that left leg lifted. We're going to come down on that left leg, but not quite yet. All right, let's drop that left knee. Uncurl that left foot. And if you want to, you can start to come down to your elbows or you could stay hands to the mat. So bring the elbows to the mat. I like to open up so when I come down, my right hip open. So I come onto the outer edge of that right foot. This gives you a nice right hip opening. Your psoas muscle. A few more breaths. Come back to my mat. All right, let's start to come back up. So keeping, uh, keep that left knee up. So we're on this lizard's pose. Engage that core. We're going to switch legs here. All right, so you could watch first. All right, switch. Yeah. Coming into lizard, dragon's pose. Few breaths here, keeping that right leg lifted. You can always drop that right leg. All right, let's come on down. Right knee to the mat, uncurl the right foot. Coming into your forearms. And remember, coming down to the outer edge of that left foot, opening up that left hip. Five to six breaths here. Two more. Now right, let's bring it back up. Coming into this lizard's pose. And let's bring that left leg back to plank. Exhale, down dog. And let's start to bend the knees and let's hover. So hover those knees. Let's do five breaths here. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees. Guess what? Camel. All right. So your knees are about two hits apart. Hey, Elizabeth. I yes. watched the video a while ago. Oh my gosh. I, was, yeah, I don't know too. if I'm the only one. <laughs> no. Can you hear me? It's me too. Now I see it was quite a while ago. There? Yeah, now I see you. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. I just was waiting for a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling me. So coming into a camel. It's gone. You lost it again. Lost it again. But we know what camel is. Yeah, we know what to do.
I wonder if we lost sound too. Let's do it again. Oh, we lost her. Let's do another camel. Cause we love camel. <laughs> All right, so sorry. That was a water break. <laughs> no, I had him do another camel. <laughs> oh, thank you. No rest. Thank you. I'm not... <laughs> okay, let me. I switched. There's my meter. All right, I'm going to switch gears here. All right. All right, thanks for that camel. All right. So, did you guys do a counter pose? We could do rabbit. Okay. After a camel. So, on rabbit pose. Keeping those toes tucked. And then you want the crown of the head to meet the mat. And then your hands are, you're gonna grab the outside of the feet for camel. Gives you a nice stretch here on the low back. All right, let's release. So there is no break for the weary there. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's take a little child's pose. So bringing that forehead to the mat, sinking in those hips. This is a pose for respite, dropping the chest to the mat. You could activate those fingers. You could do spider fingers here, keeping those elbows lifted. And then on your next breath, let's start to come up. Curl those toes, down dog. Adho Mukha Sanasana. And look up to the top of the mat, hop, step, jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's come all the way up. All right, Woo, let's take it off. All right, let's come into like a goddess pose. So either way you want to on your mat, sideways, long ways. So goddess pose, heels in, toes out. Again, keeping this nice scooped in tailbone. You could come into goal pose arm. All right. Okay, let's really come into five pointed star. All right, let me think this, how we're gonna come into it. So palms together, bring them down to your heart. Okay, so for this next move, so your uh, left foot pointed, like you're gonna come into um, tri triangle pose. So toes facing one direction to the left. Find a nice hinge on that left leg. Again, you could bring hands to the waist. You're gonna come into a balance here. Kind of like coming into half moon. All right, bend that right knee. 
hands to heart center or to your hips. And then extend it out, extend that right knee out. Let's do that four more times. Bend the right knee so you want that right heel kind of pressing into the butt, the glute. Extend it out. That's two. Three. Four. Woo. Last one. And then release and then coming from here, coming into that half moon. So drop that left hand down. Woo, opening up those hips, those shoulders. Point those right toes. Okay, let's come in now, coming into triangle pose. So let's come into this safely. So bend that left knee, drop that right leg down, and then triangle pose. Extend that left knee and then open up. Triangle pose. Inhale, coming up, five-pointed star. Let's pitch until those toes in, heels out. Let's do a forward fold. I'm not sure if anybody wants to go upside down here doing a headstand or crow. I'm going to stay in this wide-legged forward fold. So in this wide-legged forward fold, if you want to invert, you can. Release the head, let go. You could grab the toes with your peace fingers. You could do this wide legged forward fold so those hands are extended out in front of you. Whatever feels good to you. We will give those that inverting. Is anybody inverting? See you guys. We're going to do the other side. All right. Coming back down if you were upside down or in crow. Inhale, halfway lift. Let's bring our hands to the waist. Toes in, heels out. Gentle bend in the knees. And then let's come all the way up. Goddess pose. Scooping that tailbone in. Go pulse arms. And then let's extend it to five pointed star. Let's do kind of like that balance pose that we did on the other side. So right toes, let's pivot to the side. Kind of like if we're doing triangle. Start to bend the right knee. Bring your hands to the waist. And then lift that left leg up. Find that balance. Remember lifting that arch, but finding all four corners. Let's do five. So left heel to your butt. One, two, three, four, Guess what's coming next? Half moon, five. Bring your hands down, right hand to the mat. Find that opening. Opening in the hips, the shoulders. Flexing that left foot. All right, let's step it back to triangles. So bend that right knee. Let's step it back. Triangle pose. Looking up either at that left hand if your neck is feeling good, or you could look down at that right toe. Inhale, coming up. Five pointed star. And let's do a last forward fold here. Just let everything go here. You could do skandasanas to the right. 
to the left. I'm keeping my hands on the mat as I'm, I'm doing these skandasanas. Okay. Let's do that wide leg at forward fold. So walk your hands to the top of the mat. And then let's walk the feet in. We're gonna end up in down dog. So if you need to get situated back on your mat, finding that down, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. And let's step that into chair pose. Oh, sorry, crescent lunge, crescent lunge. Inhale, coming up. All right, Anjaneyasana here. Now let's step it in, crescent lunge. Chair pose, I'm getting my poses confused. This whole thing just threw me off. Chair pose. All right, hands down to the mat, step it back, low lunge. Let's windmill our coming up to warrior two. Vibhadrasana two. All right, let's bring our hands up kind of like you're holding that beach ball over your head. Bring that beach ball over to the side to extend its side angle. Bring it up, beach ball up over your head. And then to the right, over, coming up. And then beach ball to the side. Now coming into our extended side angle, so right elbow above that right knee. All right, if you want to hear, uh, we're gonna come into Birds of Paradise. So bring both hands um, inside the right foot. You could bind here, so right shoulder underneath that right knee. Left, bring it up and over, bind that bind. I'm going to stay here in this bind, but if you want to do a Birds of Paradise, we've done a lot of balancing. So it's gonna be up to you. We'll hold it here for uh, three or four more breaths. Two, three, and then four. Let's release, come into this low lunge and then this split prep. So drop that left knee. Kind of this split prep is half splits. So swing those hips back. Few breaths here. You could drop that forehead to chin. Let it go. The next thing we're going to come, let's see, coming up, curl those left toes. And now again, let's swing it back to have splits, that split prep. Let's come all the way back. So you're basically going to sit on that left heel. You could stay right here and lift the right leg or we're going to do pistol squat. So you could remain seated on that left leg or you could bring that left knee up. We're gonna do 10, lifting this leg up in pistol squat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Drop that right leg, let's walk it back up. Crescent lunge, inhale, coming all the way up. Let's do one airplane. So hands back to the bat. And let's step it up, airplane pose, square those hips. And hands down to the mat, take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. 
exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step it in, crescent lunge. Yeah, coming all the way up. Few breaths here. Coming in, chair pose. Step it up, zipper everything in. If your shoulders are up to those ears, let's drop the shoulders away from the ears. Pinkies in, shoulders down. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step it back, low lunge. Don't put all that weight in that left leg. Windmill, arms up, warrior two. Few breaths here. All right, let's hold that beach ball over the head. Belly button to spine. Use that core. Let's bring it over to the left. Hover. Inhale, coming up. Let's do two more. Let's hover over the left. Inhale, coming up. Last, hover. Three, two, one. Extended side angle. So make that shelf with that left hand. Keeping that tailbone tugged in. And from here, we're gonna come into the bind or staying in your extended side angle, many options. Or into birds of paradise. So left arm under that left knee, binding that bind, right arm up and over. We'll hold five breaths here. Four, three, two, one. Let's release, frame that left foot. We're gonna do those half splits. So drop that right knee, coming into the half splits here. So let's bring that forehead to chin. All right, let's come it up. Let's do this pistol squat. Okay, so keeping that right, those right toes curled in, let's kind of bring those hips back and we're gonna sit on that right heel. Remember, keeping that right knee down. You could do these pistol squats with that right knee down or let's bring that right knee up. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> nine, nine, 10, bring it back down. Let's walk it up, crescent lunge. Nice. Strong yogis. All right, let's come in into airplane. So hands back behind you. Step it up. Airplane pose. And hands down to the mat. Take your last vinyasa. Slow exhale to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Jump through to seated. Yes. Jumping through, extend, keeping those legs extended in front of you. And to Dandasana. So let's spread the flesh here. Find the sits bones. Your legs are extended. So your heels, I think I've heard Jennifer describe it. You could slide one sheet of paper underneath those heels. Draw the shoulder blades down, your back. Belly button to spine. All right, coming into Navasana. All right, bend the knees, 
you want that strong back. So Navasana could be right here, but both feet are planted, palms together. And, or bringing one leg or the other, or both, or extend them out. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's bend those knees. Let's do Baddha Konasana. Forward fold here. So the soles of their feet are touching, the arms are kind of opening up, the hips are doing your own little assist here with those elbows. Find that nice rounding in the back. Inhale, coming up. We're gonna go to Gomakasana. So, so let's do with that left leg bent at the bottom. The right is gonna stack on top. Again, finding those sits bones. You're mainly gonna sit on that left. All right. Your feet, they could be heels close to you or they could be out, whichever feels comfortable for you. So let's bind behind us. So right arm behind the, the head, left arm. Let's find that bind or close to it. If this is too much, you could always grab those elbows behind you. Let's hold five breaths here. This is a nice opening, chest opening pose. And your hips. Three more breaths. Once we release, we're gonna do another boat pose. So unbind the legs coming into boat pose. This is a little transition going into the other side. So whatever variation you did, let's do five breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do our Gomakasana on the other side. So this time, whatever leg you cross, the right is gonna be on the bottom for me. Left on top. And let's bind. So this time, left arm over, binding that bind behind you, or grab the elbows. Find that nice chest opening. And then release, last boat pose. Unwind, uncross those legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's find our canoe. So low back, yes, canoe. Five, four, three, two, one. Long body stretch. Yes. I can't tell the time because my so I'm hoping that we are <laughs> coming close to an hour. So from your long body stretch, let's come into our bridge pose. So bend the knees, making sure you could graze your feet, uh, your heels with your fingers. Lift the hips up, interlace the hands underneath you, and then shimmy those elbows in. Keeping those hips lifted. Looking up at the ceiling, not side to side. Get grounded on that left foot. Extend that right leg out. Up. Let's bring it up. So the bottom of 
the foot is to the ceiling. Let's do five lifts here. One, two, three, four, five, hold. And then release those hands. And then the right leg, let's bend it over that left. Coming into this uh, pigeon, uh, recline pigeon. And lift, bring that left leg up, interlace that left, um, you could be thigh or your shin. Just coming into this recline pigeon. Few breaths here. With each breath, again in a little bit closer every time you exhale. Just finding your edge. No pain here. All right, release that left knee, plant that left foot, peace fingers, grab those right toes, extend the left leg, and then the right leg, extend it up again. Let's bring it over to the right side, keeping that left hip to the mat. You could use that left hand to keep those left hips down. You want to hold here that long. And inhale, coming up. Bring it up. We're going to come into half happy baby. So bend the right knee, keeping his fingers on the toes. Let's draw that knee in to half happy baby. Guess what? We have another side to go. All right, let's release. You could extend the right leg. You could extend the arms. All right, coming into a last bridge pose. All right, bend those knees, lift those hips up, interlace the hands, shimmy those shoulders in, keeping the chest lifted. Finding, grounding on that right foot. Lift that left leg up. Let's do five lifts here. One, two, three, four, five. Hold, 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 make it count. And then your recline pigeon. So release those hands, bring those hips down, bend that left knee, recline pigeon. You were interlacing your thigh, your shin. Release with your hands, peace fingers, grabbing those uh, left toes. Extend that right leg out, extend that left leg, left leg up, and then bring it over to the left. Remember, you could use your right hand to press those right hips down. Next breath, let's bring it up into this half happy baby. So bend that left knee and that left knee aiming to touch that, the, the floor maybe one day. All right, let's release this toes coming into to, uh, this little egg roll as Gail calls them. So bring those knees in, 
kind of massaging the low back. And keeping our feet together, opening up at the knees with your uh, thing, uh, hands, grabbing the outside of the feet, Just keeping that tailbone spin down, creating that muscle memory here. So keeping the tailbone spin, spin down, and then coming into your happy baby. If you would like to do your shoulder stand, you can. You can release your happy baby. Let's do a nice gentle twist, arms out like a T. This will give time if someone was in shoulder stand. So dropping the knees to the right, gaze over to the left. Nice low back stretch. And let's do the other side. Bring those knees up. All the way over to the left, gaze is to the right. Bringing those knees up again. If you have any other pose that you would like to do, you're more than welcome to. Or Shavasana. You want to find that five-pointed star, take up as much space as you want to for staying closed and tucked in. Whatever feels natural to you. Finding some gentle movement with toes and fingers. Coming up to your most supportive side in a fetal position. And coming up to seated. Thank you so much for joining us online. And we will see each other face to face soon. May this peace and calmness follow you through tonight and into tomorrow. Namaste.